this is painful stuff, I have to say. I can't imagine how painful it is if you're African-American. It's painful for me to know that I live in a country where these kinds of things happen on a regular basis, on a daily basis. It's painful for me to know that every day of my life is spent in some invisible or perhaps even visible ways enjoying privileges and protections that are not extended to others. Deference uh, by police officers and other servants of the state, uh, economic opportunities that were denied to other people equally talented. The list goes on and on but you know the pain is not enough whether it's the pain of being a member of uh, any member of, of any community in this country uh, we are the ag in the aggregate of all those communities one nation and it is as one nation that we must learn to change each individually each community on its own and ultimately the nation as a whole but given that the majority of the nation is my ethnic community. I'm going to reiterate what I said with Kimon Freeman in the last segment, which is we have some work to do to raise our own awareness, to be willing to acknowledge the privileges that have been invisible to us up to this point, and to be willing to do something to change it. I will tell you that in the end, it is my belief that we will all benefit in every conceivable way, uh, perhaps not materially, but of all the aspects of human life, that is the least important of them. But perhaps we will even benefit materially, too. We won't know until we try. I'm Richard R.J. Escow, and this is The Zero Hour. <laughs>